Hi there. I'm going to tell you the Easter story using these plastic colored eggs. And inside each egg, we're going to open it up, and inside each egg is a little part of the story. So, but I want to tell you something first. That part of this story is kind of sad. There's some people that aren't very nice to Jesus, but in the end, oh, it's so good. So, let's tell the story. I'm going to tell the story to you. Okay, so what color is this egg right here? It's blue, isn't it? Good job. So I'm going to open it up. We're going to see what's inside. Are you ready? There's a donkey inside, isn't there? So Jesus rode on the donkey to a place called Jerusalem. Now there were some people that were really, really happy to see Jesus because he did a lot of great things. He healed people and helped people. But there were some people, the leaders, that weren't happy to see Jesus. So let's see what's in the next egg. Inside this egg. Are some coins and Jesus had many disciples he had many friends and one of his friends name was Judas now the leaders the bad people came to Judas and said hey if you tell us where Jesus is we'll give you some money and so G Judas thought okay if you give me money I'll show you where Jesus is so they gave him some money and he showed them where Jesus was but Judas was supposed to be a friend of Jesus, huh? It doesn't sound like a very friendly thing to do to me. But that's what he did. He chose to take the money instead of being Jesus' friend. So let's see what's inside this egg. So inside this egg is some bread. So Jesus had what's called the Last Supper with his disciples. And they all got together, and they had some bread and some wine together. Ooh, what color is this egg? That's orange, isn't it? Good job. Okay, let's see what's inside. Oh, those are some praying hands. So later, after the Last Supper, Jesus went into the Garden of Gethsemane, and he prayed to God to make sure that what he was doing was the right thing. Okay, let's open this egg. Inside this egg is a sword. So when the leaders came to take Jesus away, because remember, Judas showed the leaders where Jesus was, when the leaders came to take Jesus away, one of Jesus' friends pulled out his sword to protect Jesus and keep him safe. That sounds like a good thing, huh? That was really nice of his friend to try and help him. But the leaders took Jesus away. And let's open up this egg and see what's inside. And now the leaders weren't very, the leaders weren't very nice to Jesus. And they made a crown called a crown of thorns. And what you saw here had little pokey thorns on it. They made a crown and they put it on his head. They pushed it down in his head. This is that part of the story that's not so happy. They pushed it down into his head and he got a whole bunch of little owies all over his head and he was bleeding. And they teased him and they weren't nice to him. So let's see what happens next in this day. Okay, so this is part of the story again that's sad. So this is a cross. So the leaders put Jesus on a cross. So like his head would have been here and his feet here and his arms stretched out wide here. So he would die on a cross. But you know why he died on the cross? To save us from our sins, the bad things we do. So if we do something that's not nice like hurt somebody's feelings or or say something that's not very kind, we can go to Jesus and ask for his forgiveness, and he'll forgive us. So the leaders put him on the cross, and what they put on him, in his hands and his feet were these nail, for, were nails. Can you see those? So they put them in his hands and in his feet 
all the way through his hands onto the cross. So they put him right here in the palms of his hands and in his feet. And, um, and so then he was hanging on the cross. Remember, that's kind of a sad part, but we're getting, it's getting to be good pretty soon. So inside this egg is a sponge. Can you see that? They put some vinegar and some wine on this sponge to give to Jesus when he was on the cross so he could suck on it. But um, the vinegar doesn't taste very good, what does it? So they weren't being very kind to him. So that's what was on the sponge for Jesus. Okay, so now Jesus has died and they've taken him off the cross. And they wrapped him in this cloth, linen or cloth, it's kind of like a big napkin. And they wrapped him up in it and they laid him in a tomb. And you know a tomb is like a big cave. So they put him inside there. And let's open the egg. They put him inside this big tomb and they put this big huge stone or this big huge rock in front of the cave, in front of the tomb. And they put it there so that nobody could get inside and take Jesus' body away. And then they put some guards and soldiers out front to make sure that nobody could get inside. So, here's my favorite part. Are you ready? So this is our last day. Is there anything inside? No, because you know what happened? On Easter Sunday, the stone, the rock was rolled away and Jesus wasn't in there. He resurrected, that means he was alive again. So that is really cool, isn't it? And so what they said was going to happen really happened. Jesus came alive again, and now he lives with us in our hearts forever and ever.